Hey guys, it's Jen and Kaylin. Um, I'm going to do her 17 month update. And she's holding up my notebook where I have all my notes. Um, Kaylin is 17 months old as of today, February 1st. Um, I cannot believe how big she has gotten and how much she's learned. I mean, just, it, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy how much they learn and develop um, their first year, year and a half. But she's just a ball of energy and has a little personality. Ah. Yeah, don't you? You have a little personality? Yeah, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> um, as for kind of her schedule that she's at right now, um, she, we start bedtime routine between 7 and 7.15. Um, and that's bath time and um, we play in the bathtub and then, um, you know, get her lotioned and pajamas and everything and then I'm going to have to talk over her this whole video. Um, yeah, she's loud too. Especially in the stores when we're shopping. Yeah, that's always fun. She's that kid that's just talking loud. Um, <laughs> Anyways, um, so we nurse at nighttime. That's the only time of day that we're nursing right now. Um, and then I put her down for bed, and she sleeps in her crib in her room. She always has, and that's just what she prefers and what she does best with. What are you doing, silly? And um, so she's usually down, no touch. She's usually down between 7.30 and 8-ish, depending on how tired she is. And then she wakes up during the week. Um, since I am working, she gets up around 6.45 now, and she would sleep later, but we leave her door cracked, and the kitchen is near her room. So we go into the kitchen and getting everything ready to go, and so she kind of wakes up on her own just from hearing us. Um, and then she's never really ready to get out of bed, but we have to get her up. So on the weekends, she might go down a little bit later at nighttime because we're constantly doing stuff. And then um, she might sleep to around eight or so on the weekends. So that's always nice to sleep in a little bit. She loves to eat. Um, and she likes to say eat when she's hungry. She's just like, eat, eat. Um, let's see. What are your favorite foods? <laughs> What are your favorite foods? What do you like to eat? <laughs> um, she likes chicken and fish and um, pork chops. Um, she eats beef, but not that much. Um, we don't eat too much red meat around here, but she will eat it. Um, she loves, that's nice, thank you. She loves her veggies, so that's really good. Um, her favorite's probably broccoli. Um, she likes peas and green beans, no touch. Um, she really likes squash and zucchini. She loves fruit. She could eat fruit and that she'd be completely fine with <laughs> that being the only thing that she got to eat. Um, but she loves fruit, but I try to give her, um, you know, just a well balanced meal and dinner. She usually just eat it's what we eat and, um, you know, healthy snacks and everything throughout the day. She plays fairly well on her own, but she likes to be where you are. Um, in the evenings when we get home, I, you know, we change clothes, put everything away, and I start dinner. And then when dinner's going, I start unloading the dishwasher, and, so, and, and she likes to help unload the dishwasher. I take all the um, glass brickle things off out of the bottom and the knives out and then she'll um, pick each little thing up and hand it to me and say here you go and thank you and we'll, we'll unload the dishwasher. So she really, she loves doing that. Um, what else baby? She's walking and running everywhere. She's already had some skip knees from outside. Um, she's saying a lot. Ugh. What is it? She's saying a lot these days. I mean, just your basic words, of course. Hi, bye, hey, dog, go. She'll say, it's hot, and that's hot. Here you go, night, night, mama, daddy, outside. Yeah. Yeah. Outside? Outside. 
Yeah. She'll say Bailey. Can you say Bailey? Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> Bailey is our dog's name. And Bella, she, she kind of tries to say Bella, but she's not got it yet. She'll say, um, she'll say, um, her cousin's name, which is Jace. Can you say Jace? Can you say Jace? Jace. She's got her tongue sticking out right now, so you can't even understand her. And she can't even talk right when she's just got her tongue out. Can you say Jace? Can you say Jace? Yeah. Um, gosh, I, sh I don't even know what else she'll say. Socks, shoes. Um, she'll try to say toothbrush when we brush her teeth. and um, I don't even know what else. <laughs> no idea. Um, but she's got a lot of new ones these days. We're still cloth diaper room, of course, and loving that. And she loves clothes. She loves trying to get herself dressed and undressed. Um, right now, she's playing with a pair of pants, putting it on over her pants and just walking around. So she loves clothes. I kind of mentioned it before, but we are still breastfeeding one time a day. No touch. No touch. Thank you. Come here. Um, so we're just doing breastfeeding one time a day. She is still getting uh, thawed frozen breast milk in the mornings just because I want to use it up since that was the last feeding that we cut out was the morning. And that was at the beginning of the year. We were just doing morning and night until the beginning of this year. So a month now, we've just been doing nighttime. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to do nighttime. Um, she enjoys it. She's fine with it, but I think she'd be okay without it too. So, I'm not really sure. I mean, with me being um, seven weeks pregnant now, and I don't want to nurse her throughout the entire pregnancy, but I'm not quite sure when we're going to end that. But, um, let's see. Um, we're still doing two naps a day. You want to read a book? She loves books. She loves hard books and loves to read them. Um, we're still doing two naps a day. I think we're gradually going to where she'll just want one nap a day. Oh, yeah. And um, today she did oh, a nap yeah. this morning at daycare, um, the lady told me. So we're getting to one nap a day after lunch. So, And for teeth-wise, she has a mouthful of teeth right now. Um, I think she has 12 or 13. She's got top four and bot top and bottom. Um, her, all of her molars, top and bottom, are coming in. And she might have some, like, the eye teeth? I don't know what they are. Yeah. But she might have more coming in. I'm not sure. But she's got a lot of teeth that she's supposed to have now. Her favorite toys right now, um, she got her little play kitchen, as you can see, behind me. She got that for Christmas, and she loves that. It's got all the play food that she has fun with and all the plates and bowls. And she got a little... Um, a tea party set for Christmas. This is one that I think my aunt got this for her for Christmas. And it's it lights Wait, up. Time for tea. And then you pour it and it lights up the little cup. <laughs> she loves this. She will bring the little cup over to you and this and she'll pour you tea and she loves it. We really pour have a tea party. <laughs> we really have a tea party. So she loves that thing. Um, books she loves. She got the little um, the Disney Princess Little People Castle for Christmas, and she loves that. She plays with that a lot. Um, she got a tent for Christmas, and she likes playing in that. Um, let's see what else. She got the little Melissa and Doug shopping cart from, um, from her grandparents for Christmas, and she loves putting stuff around in that and pushing it around. I don't know what else to say about her. I mean, I just made some notes and... Those are just the main things of, um, you know, what's going on right now. Um, she's learning so much, and she's still petite and small for her age. Um, I don't know exactly what she weighs right now. I think maybe around 20 pounds, 21 pounds, I'm not sure. Um, at her 12-month visit, she was um, like 17 and a half pounds, and for like maybe 28, 29 inches long. 
Um, I'm not sure what she is right now. I know that she's even grown a lot since then, but she's always been like around the 10th percentile for weight, height, and head circumference. So she's just petite, and I was too. I mean, I was always um, just small and petite growing up, and my husband's not really big or anything. He's pretty average, so um, I guess she's just going to be petite, you know, little girl like I was. I guess that's it. Uh, if I left anything out, just leave it in comments below and I will answer them. Um, so, yeah. Come here, Kaylin. You want to say bye-bye? Yeah. Come here. She's over playing with their castle. All right. She wants to play. So, um, that's it for Kaylin's 17-month update. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.